Every other car you see here is a cracker. Lambo, Bugatti, Ferrari. It's just filthy rich, this place. Feeling a little bit out of place here. Right, we're nearly at this famous hairpin turn. I think the cars come down here, the F1 cars. Them dudes, new video time, country number 54, and we are in the world's second smallest country. We are in Monaco. Yes, the second uh, world's second smallest country. It's like four mile or four kilometers wide, but about one kilometer the other way, or one mile, can't remember. I'm not on my own this time, we're with the coilmeister. We go way back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go way back, met this Hylian, I don't know, about 20 years ago in Ibiza. And um, haven't seen him in about 20 years, 15 years. And then I actually met up with him about six months ago. And he's like, I want to travel with you, Burns. I love you, you're a legend. <laughs> so yeah, we're on, we're in Monaco. We're not looking forward to the prices here, but we'll get a little walk around. We'll give you an idea of prices. So yeah, people come here because it's tax free, but if you're thinking of moving here, you need the small matter of at least 500,000 pounds in your bank account. Otherwise, you'll not be able to get in. So yeah, so you only need half a million guys. And uh, I think on average, a one bedroom flat's about 600,000 quid to buy. So yeah, good luck with that dudes. So anyway, we're on route to this. Uh, I want to go see this hairpin turn of the Formula One track. So. Stay tuned, mofos. Right, we're nearly at this famous hairpin turn. I think the cars come down here, the F1 cars. Right around here, you can still see the, like the tracks, the sort of rubber on the ramps. Um, the Monaco GP may be the most glamorous, but it's definitely the most boring to watch, I swear to God. I've yet to see an overtake. <laughs> yet to see someone overtaking someone, unless the car breaks down, sitting there yawning during it. But it's definitely the most glamorous. And here's the famous roundabout here as we approach. Here we are, the famous roundabout turn. Class. Nate. Stop with the rubber and all, class or what? Then they come down here. These streets are narrow, even for like a uh, a normal domestic car like or normal vehicle these streets are bad even for like a normal vehicle but freaking hell imagine a formula one car she's no wonder there's no overtakes it's just mental crazy like so so that's the only real plan i had for monaco guys so that's it that's the end of the vlog yeah <laughs> now nah, i'm only slagging we don't really have a plan to be honest um I wanted to just see that F1 track, that famous roundabout. But we're going on our way for something to eat now. We've just went on a Google Maps and typed in busy area. Well, not typed in, hit, clicked on the busy area part on the map. And that's where we're going, so catch it a bit. Every other car you see here is a cracker. A Lambo, Bugatti, Ferrari. It's just just filthy rich this place here we have the world famous casino guys don't know if we're gonna in um i'm not 100 yet i have a gambling problem <laughs> coil's got a gambling problem i can see 18 euro in you need your passport driving license will not do so you need your passport strong form of id and i think there's a dress code 
I think it's like no jeans running, you need like trousers and suit and all. I don't have that. So here it is. And an old Ferrari outside. Feeling slightly out of place here. All these dudes are rocking up to the casino in the mad vehicles. Safe to say, the skank is rife in Monaco. Not right, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're about out of place. We'll probably go home empty handed, you know? But uh, sure, we'll see. So nearly everywhere you go here in Monaco, from what I've seen, there's red carpet let out for us. Check this. Oh yes. <laughs> Goes all the way down the street, all the way around the corner there. Crazy. Check this view out. It's mountains in the backdrop now. And the harbour. Look at that. Sweet. Just having to be down around the port now. But the views are cracking as you sort of go downhill like. The, like the mountain in the backdrop. And the hotels and all and in the port. One of the old Formula One cars here. William Grover, William, something, 1903, 1945, cracker. Size of that yacht over there, Jesus. Me and Coyle's about to go on the horses here. <laughs> Ready for some horse action? It's the only horse in Abbey, though. <laughs> horse in India, Cynthia. <laughs> So, so just hopped in the supermarket here. We'll give you guys an idea of prices if you didn't want to drink in the bars because they're too expensive. So we're having a little look at how much beers are and wines are, etc. So from the carryout spot, gives a wee second. There's some champagne, 33 euro. Moet. Uh, 50, 50 euro. 50 euro. That's all right. I mean, Moet's dear enough, but yeah. All right. Jack Daniels, 50 euro. Bottles of wine ranging from 19 euro, 23 euro, 27 euro. There's one at 860. Perfect. Can't see beers in sight. I know, maybe it's, maybe it's a peasant drink for Monaco. Can't see a single beer. We found some beer, but they've only got one wee fridge of it, so they're Peroni, 250. 220 for Corona. It's all right, I suppose. So if you're looking at a cheaper alternative from the supermarket, come here. I we're just on the way to the restaurant now. We're starving. Um, we. As you get further up this, sort of away from the port, it's getting cheaper and cheaper. Started off like pasta plates and all for like 25 euro in the restaurant, sir. And then the next one was like 19 euro. And then the last one was saying there was like 15 euro for pizza and pasta and stuff. So getting slightly cheaper. And uh, from the menu, the beers are like 9 euro for a, a beer. And about 11 pound, 11 euro for a cocktail. So, um, not the worst. Still, still expensive, like, but not the worst. But yeah, uh, I'll catch it a bit. Here we are, Bar Monte Carlo. <laughs> Just arrived for the grub. We have a pizza, a boring margarita for coil for fuck's sake. Margarita. And I got some chorizo, bad boy. Nice. 
It was about 16 euro or something. Not bad. Going all in with his cheesy bad boy. <laughs> Unreal. Pizza on the continent, it's always different. I'll check you get back home. Pizza on the continent is the bomb. Come to Monaco. So all in with the Belmo foes. Hennigan, 970. Va, the wine was only 560. Margarita was 14.50. My pizza 16.50. Freight 6.50. All in, 52 euro. Chips, chips. No, chips are 650. <laughs> right, we're just at our restaurant. We're on our way to a bar now. It's getting a bit dark, so might have to put the Isle of Vlogger Rooney down. Show's over, folks. Calls a bend there anyway. So we're on our way. We're going to keep it cultured here, keep it local. We're on our way to an Irish bar, so um, a nice traditional Monarchies. Monarchies? Is that a word? A nice traditional Monarchies Irish bar. Let's rock. If we're standing along the way, I'll slap the old camera on. See ye. Don't know if you can see me, but it's very dark. We've got our first bar here. And look at what you get for free. Being set up here, I don't know what they are. But it's like proper food for free. But they'll probably add the price in, will they, Colin? We've got a wee glass of Paul Weller. Stella. On it. Right, can't be arse vlogging anymore and getting half cut. We left that bar there. What did that cost? That was all in. 49 euros. That was for a Long Island iced tea. Two Stella Artois. And what was the other one? A Vod. Vodka and lemonade. Vodka lemonade. Struck the crack cracker on the struck the cracker on the Long Island iced tea. 22 euro. Sweet lord. I took up half the bill. Um so now we're on our way, but I'm done. I'm done. I can't be arse vlogging anymore, so. I uh, hope you enjoyed that wee number. Like, subscribe, and feck right off. speak after that uh, episode we skipped out a few bars there we ended up in that last bar and we're actually pretty bollocks like and drank about 15 beers each <laughs> and a load, a load of shots went down as well <laughs> so all i did was beer but coil is a fucking animal coil is an animal he like i don't know 
He mixed every single drink under the sun and he's still standing. Look at him. Still standing. I'm he had <laughs> he, he had a long island iced tea. He had a whiskey. No, no, he didn't have a whiskey. He had a vodka. He had a prosecco. He he just I mixed a lot. Is. He had a vod. He had I don't know. He just mixed everything. And then he was end up in the Corona. And he's still standing. I swear to God, I'm, he is more intact than I am. I'm sweating all over the shop here. The only reason why the camera is stable is because of camera stabilization. Otherwise, I'll be sweating all over the joint. So anyway, I think I think I'll end the vlog here, guys. To be honest. The last time you see me, I was sober, but sober as a judge, now I'm sober as a judge. So, I don't know, guys. Maybe you want to unsubscribe, to be honest. Um, I would if I were you, because it's not worth the content, like. It's not worth the <laughs> Coil, man, I, I, I'm going to leave you on a few words with Coil. Right. <laughs> Here <I come. laughs> right. He's talking absolute bollocks. <laughs> you, look at the fucking steadiest place. You can't even get a taxi. I swear to all. Look at this. Right? Oh, I turn around. Apparently, a party of the book one. Apparently, you need to ring a taxi, but. How the fuck do you know the taxi number when you when you go to a different country? It's not like phone a phone a cab or something. <laughs> fuck sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm fucking starving and the, our fridge is about a million degrees. There's water in it, there's tastes like tea. <laughs> but I'm like that. Up in the, uh, the morning, straight back at it. Yeehaw. Yeah. All the best. Like and subscribe. But anyway, I'm going to end the video, guys. On this Monaco journey. It always ends up with alcohol with me. I don't know what it is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that episode. See you later. Slank of fall. Mwah.